Hey guys, it's Lemming Rush. I'm just playing today, and I got into this situation. We're on the map Live Oaks, and I thought I should record this, because to me, this is the exact situation that everyone sucks with on Live Oaks, especially if they're playing light tanks. So, uh, in this case, the enemy team has an EBR and Sheridan. Um, most light tank drivers try to scout the mid. That's suicide when they've got an EBR and a Sheridan, because the Sheridan's almost guaranteed to try something, and the EBR could very easily YOLO it. You know, in tier 10 game, you're not going to escape, especially if you're in a tank as lightly, like, as big and lightly armored as the RHM. So, what I'm going to do instead is I'm going to play more of a early uh, scout, like an active scouting role, because active scouts are harder to click, basically. And so what I'm going to do is I'm going to be able to get into... Well, there's a bush right here. Most people won't drive... There you go, EBR. See, it's very likely he went to the middle instead or something and would have spotted me. Now, what I can do instead is because I've got so many teammates behind me, I feel very comfortable... Maybe not very comfortable, but reasonably comfortable pushing up like this. And I'm going to shoot at people try to track them, and figure out who the hell's getting over here. So you can see Spotty Jagdpanzer 100, there's an E50M right here, an M48 Patton as well. And as these teammates behind me start to push into us, this is going to be a reasonable position. And what I can also do on this map is I can get already safe basically right here. And so this is why this is a reasonable play. Now, Fosh is right here. I am going to spot these players. I don't really need to do damage. I think that Patton's going to be behind this bush right here, and so if I were to try to poke on that Patton, it's probably not going to end well. Now, I'm going to poke up to the right. I'm surprised that Patton hasn't hit me. I would have shot me if I were him, but there you go. And looks like our team is well on their way to actually doing well on this side of the map. Now, E50M's up, Patton's up. I might be able to push into this ridge with the intent of scouting. Not doing damage, of course. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to active scout right here. That's to spot this Jagdpanzer 100 for our team. Keep them lit and maybe spot any TDs in the back. And as these guys push in, you can see I'm not stopping. I don't want to get already here. It's just not worth the risk. Now, I should not... I'm not getting as much spotty damage as I would like. It's fine. There's an opportunity to push up like this. Now, if you're a scout and you're in this type of situation where you could very easily push up and flank the entire enemy team, you want to critically analyze that because we know where their Fosh is, we know their Yag is, we don't know where their Sheridan or their EBR are. So, from my perspective, this is not an intelligent play. I would probably find the Sheridan, the EBR, and maybe the other unspotted tank destroyers. So instead, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go back to here and we're going to try to pick up some damage, and then I'm also going to lead the charge, pushing into the RD, try to spot all the RD for my team, and, oh, that guy yoloing just fucking, he rammed that guy. Okay, Patton's running, so I'm going to put another shot to the E50M, and then we're going to push forwards and flank the Jagdpanzer 100. I need to change my graphic settings. Graph, do that. I'll do that later, actually. Okay. Kill, perfect. Now, if this Jagdpanzer fires or is looking away, which he isn't, I can get this shot. Get the kill. Perfect. Okay. So now next step is to push. And I'm looking at their team. They've got the Udez. We don't know where that E4 is. At least I don't see him on the map right now. Oh, I see him right here. So the E4 is the last of their tank destroyers. I'm going to be first to push through. I've got five tanks behind me. I want to spot everything I possibly can. EPR's up. There's the first of the Arty. So I'm just going to auto-aim Arty and shoot on the move. My primary objective is not to die and spot a ton of people for my team. You can see they're pushing in through the city. And so by leading this charge, I give my team an edge. So here's the CGC. We're making the Arty scores even at this point. And I have to be careful here because it's very easy to overrun my team. So Batshat's spotted as well. I'm not really going to chase after that Batshat. That would be greedy right here and it would probably get me killed. So it's a better play instead is ignoring the bat shot and going basically to this ramp. If I get up here, I'll spot any enemies in this area. There you go, spot the Yudas. And from here, I can actually put rear shots into the IS-4, and I don't... This this Yudas isn't a threat, basically. Because <laughs> what's going to happen is this Yudas, he can't fight me. I've got five people behind me, so I can just keep him lit and wait for the opportunity to shoot at people. Now, Sheridan's right here. He's moving, fine. I don't really want to poke on this Yudas, but you can see he was looking away, get a shot and the track, and from here I might have shots in the size 4. So this is ultimately the play I wanted. Now this guy's got his front towards me, and this is why I wasn't just YOLOing against this Yudas, because the IS-4 could have been looking this way. So I have to shoot heat at this guy. They've got TVP to our right. I see him. And we've got a TVP engaging the enemy TVP. So that's one from the enemy. Shot into him, just trying to keep our TVP alive. Doesn't work, that guy's 100 HP. So now the question is, can I push this enemy TVP right here? And really, I don't want to. I think his play is actually to run away. I might be able to snag the kill on this Yudas, who's looking away. Good. Okay, now if I was this TVP, I'd poke on me. And because there's so many fences, I'm switching to APCR. Obviously, that's the right thing to do. And here... 
If I kill... That's the problem. There's the Panzer 7. Shit. Okay. So Panzer 7 just fired. I want to kill that TVP and prevent that Panzer 7 from shooting my teammates in the side. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to fall back to here, put buildings in between myself and the Panzer 7, and then I'm going to continue running and I'm going to play view range games against the TVP. So I think I will be dark by now. And this is the position I want to be in. I'm going to switch to heat rate here because I don't know who the hell I'm going to be shooting. Could be shooting at the Panzer 7, could be the TVP. I don't know right now. And what will happen is if this Panzer 7 gets spotted by my teammates, I should have side shots because he might drive forwards like this to get shots in the 62A. I'm basically covering their flank. Now, I am also impatient here. So to me, what I would love to do is if I can kill the TVP, there you go, there's the TVP, no shots, am I spotted? I'm not going to shoot just yet, oh, I'm spotted, okay, this is an opportunity, I'm going to kind of ignore this Panzer 7, that's an EBR who's coming to support the TVP, E4 is not looking, I think I need to run here. I'm going to shoot these guys in the side and get behind that barn again. I'm not going to push into the TVP if he's supported by that EBR. You can see TVP is not an issue. And I do obviously have solid buildings and side shots on this before the opens opponent into him. Heat's going to be next because the Panzer 7, this EBR, this E4 is looking at me. I'm on 1,000 HP. He dies. Perfect. This guy is kind of not looking. Put a shot into him. Goes in. He misses. Okay, so from here, next play, honestly, might just be to go kill this TVP for real that E4 is dead, and I bet that EBR is somewhere else. So I'm going to push into this guy. We can kill him, flank the Panzer 7, and that's going to be... Oh, shit. Perfect, actually. Dude, you should have just fallen back after shooting me once. He might have actually been able to beat me. Okay, Panzer 7. It's going to be next. I will try to get the kill here. EBR hits me with HE, already fires. Okay, so this EBR has actually got the DPM and the HE to kill me. What I'm going to do... No shots. Okay. I'm obviously not going to challenge this guy. He's definitely not. I'm a one-shot to him. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to chill out. I've got this M48 pattern who's pushing. I bet that EBR is going to be there. Put a shot towards him. Is he yoloing me? Good. He's dead. Okay, perfect. Now it's just the bat shot left. So I'm going to try to be the first one to get to the bat shot already. Who's right there. Put a shot into him. Perfect. And he's going to ram the 60 TP. Okay. So that was five kills. <laughs> That was pretty quick and pretty good. I think that's actually exactly how you have to deal with games like that. That game was very close for a huge portion of the time. And because I gave... So one thing, one of the issues with scouting is a lot of good players don't need to be scouted for because good players know exactly what's happening most of the time and they can make really reasonable guesses. When I pushed into their arty, I knew there was no one there. But what I had to do is I had to give my team that information because, you know, they're on average, my teammates are going to be average. And they, they won't know. They're going to think, oh, there's probably people back there defending their base. And it's like, I was like, well, who? And because I looked at the enemy team lineup. So that type of play brought my teammates with me through into their base and ultimately is the reason we didn't lose because they totally could have pushed into our base before we flanked them. And so we, you know, part of my play really made that happen and helped my team win the game. So hopefully that's educational. That was 60,000 credit profit. 50,000 of that was from a reward. We did 3,300 damage, five kills, 1,059 XP. Didn't actually get a lot of spotting damage, but whatever. I played in such a way that normally would get me a decent amount of spotting damage and uh, bring the win rate up to 47%. <laughs> in this tank for those of you who don't know this tank i'm doing 2100 damage per game which is very good if you look at the rankings for the rhm panzer wagon sort them by dpg right now the dpg in the tank is second place right iron auto in mercy is currently doing uh 2600 which is wild but you know uh the competition at least in this tank for now isn't too great and well i am winning this guy is winning 58%, like the RHM Panzer Wagon doesn't seem to win a lot of games for people, so... Oh well, <laughs> the win rate's gotta get up there, my average is 60%, but uh, I'm gonna call the video here. I hope you enjoyed this video, if you wanna see more, be sure to like and the subscribe button. I'm gonna keep making videos in this thing, so if you like the RHM Panzer Wagon, you can totally subscribe to see more RHM content, because I'm working on the 3 mark. Um, I should be able to do that without too much of an issue, so... Yeah. Anyways, I hope to see you around. Later, guys. Bye-bye.